This is the hardest things to learn in order and starting off at number one, the easiest thing is cooking an omelet. Now, if you can't cook an omelet, or even if you can, you gotta stay till the end to figure out what the hardest thing to learn is. I'm also gonna remove these, those are just for the intro. All right, so 75% of the population can cook an omelet. Can you cook an omelet? Let me know in the comments down below right now. One of the first things you will be taught in culinary school, it's hard to mess up. 70% can do a magic trick. It doesn't have to be a death saw trick. Magic is for everyone. Ah, uh, I used to love magic back in the day. Maybe I should get back into that and do a little performance for you guys. 68% of the population can play chess. I can't play chess, guys. I could cook an omelet, I could do some magic tricks, but I can't play chess. This is the first one that I can't do. So I'm in I'm in the 32%. 65% can storytelling. A great story usually progresses towards a central moral or message. I think 99.9% .9 of the people can do storytelling. It's literally like your mom asks you, how was your day? Oh, it was good. This happened, this happened. That's storytelling right there. 43% knows a second language. This will impress locals when on vacation. That means you might make new friends. Oui, oui. Comment ça va? Je m'appelle Luc. Quand j'étais un petit garçon, j'ai allé à une école qui est en français au année 8. Et puis après ça, j'ai switch en to English. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what languages you guys speak or how many actually, because I can speak two, kind of French. Okay, basically what I was saying, if you guys didn't get that, because only 43% of you can speak a second language, so that means like less than you could speak French. But I was in a French school from kindergarten to grade six, and then I, I was still in French classes from grade seven to eight, and then after that, I switched to English. 42% can do origami. Yeah, that ain't me. Origami is the art of paper folding. No, really? I guess some people don't know that. It's often associated with Japanese culture. I do remember though, my grandma bought me like a some paper, like square origami paper and like a tutorial book on how to do it, like do some stuff. So, I mean, I did know how to do some stuff back in the day. 40% of people can beatbox and I am one of those people. Just kidding, that was bad. Listen to this one. Do any of you guys know Dragon Veil? It was like a game on your phone or iPod. Ba way back in the day, I used to play this with all my friends. Here's the theme song. Pretty good, huh? 38% of people can dice an onion. What? You don't have to do it super fast like Gordon Ramsay or you might cut yourself. Oh, so you're talking like... If you don't have to do it super fast, then I'm sure like... Again, like 90% of the people can just, right? 35% of people have nice, <laughs> well, I'm, I do not have good handwriting. If your handwriting sucks, you can learn to type really fast instead. Actually, I have a thing here and I have a thing here. Watch this. Hi, my name is Luke Davidson <laughs> and I make YouTube videos. Not bad, eh? It's pretty bad. 30% of people can save money. Only 30% of Americans, Americans? What about Canadians? And other countries have a long-term financial plan to save money. I mean, I feel like I have a decent, decent plan. 28% of people can crack an egg with one. Oh, I thought I was gonna say crack an egg on your head. I was like, everyone could do that. Cracking an egg with one hand. You may make a mess the first time, but it will surely impress everyone. I've never actually tried that. 24% of people could juggle. Okay, I've tried juggling. I could juggle too. That's not really juggling link though, is it? <laughs> now let's try with three. Whoa. Yeah, screw that. 22% of people could shuffle cards. Okay, if I had a deck of cards, I'd show you right now. 20% of people could whistle with their fingers. <laughs> huh, just kidding, guys. That was a sound effect. I could barely whistle without my fingers. 90% of people can box. It will pay for itself. You never know when you will need to defend yourself. Oh, yeah? Well, I know. Karate. Okay, what belt did I finish at? I remember there's a, gr a green belt. Maybe that was the last belt that I got to. I was like white, obviously, orange, yellow, and green. But I'm pretty sure yellow and orange, there was like, you're yellow, now you're yellow with a stripe. And then you move to orange. I don't know, but I know I had a green. My dad and I did karate when, when I was little. And then, yeah, the blocks. <laughs> it's been a while, but that's a uh, karate, not boxing. 80% <laughs> of people can mix cocktails. Oh, we're getting into the percentages. 17.5, no English. The English language is renowned for having many struggles, rules, and ex I agree. What's a good example? Like knife, for example. Why does knife have a K? 
at the start. Or like two. There's like three different twos. Like you're writing a card to this person. T-O. Oh, yeah. I'll be there too. T-O-O. -O. Oh, I'd like two bananas. T-W. You know, it's, it's kind of confusing. 70% can drive a car. This is a crucial part of life. Many use cars as everyday transportation. That's true. But many people also do not use cars for transportation. That is why it's 70%. Fun fact. 60% can perform a wheelie. Oh man, those are scary. Okay, I could like sort of do it on a dirt bike. I could go and then back down on the dirt bike. But I don't know, I just find they're so scary because it's like obviously to get to like keep going, you gotta be like somewhat far back, right? Then it's like at any second, it just feels like it could go, ooh. 60% can do a spinning of the basketball. The world record is 11 minutes and 22 seconds. Insane. Another 60% of people know Mandarin Chinese. Mandarin Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world for non-natives. Yeah, it just seems very like Spanish. It's like, hola, you know, but I guess Chinese is like, What's Chinese? I feel like I know it. I don't know. But then French. French is like, you know, like, bonjour, comment ça va? But maybe it sounds very confusing to you guys who don't speak French. I don't know. But Chinese, I feel like it's like, seems very difficult to learn. But even like the, like to read it is very confusing to me. 50% can ski. I can't ski. I can snowboard. 40% of people know programming code. Okay, I took a computer, what was it? A computer science class. And you like learn how to like code games and stuff. It's one of the most confusing things ever. 40% of people can change oil in their car. When you master it, it takes less than 30 minutes. 30% of people can pick a lock. I actually can pick a lock by using a bobby pin on doors and houses. But like the big boy, yeah, those ones are confusing. Well, obviously that's why people have a job as a locksmith. It's obviously like, if everybody could do it, th that wouldn't be a job, you know? 12% know elastico soccer trick? What? The move was invented by the Japanese Brazilian football player, Sergio Eshigo. Okay, we gotta search this up. What the heck is the elastico soccer trick? Okay, okay, what is it? That's it? Yeah, I'm sorry, I probably just offended a bunch of soccer or football players there. But no, like, yeah, I know that would be like hard to do like while you're playing. But I thought it was going to be like something crazy. Like you kick the ball up in the air, hit it with your head and then hit it sideways into the net or something. 11% of people can do a chair handstand. Starting with a chair can help beginners perform. A chair handstand? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Does that mean you're leaning against the chair? Let me try. <laughs> Wait. Okay, it's too scary. 10% of people could do the splits. If I stretched every day, I could do the splits too. 8% of people could do heel and toe driving techniques. Ah, they mean like when you have three pedals, the clutch on a manual car. I never even tried to do that. I had a manual car guys, but I never tried to do that. I was too quick with it without that. 7% can memorize the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, Z, A, K. Yeah, okay. 6% can do computer hacking. Yeah, I can't do that. 6% can ride a motorcycle? It's considered easier to ride a motorbike than a car. But they are more- What? Easier to ride a motorbike than a car? Really? I can ride a motorbike. That's one thing I don't know if I could ever get. A motorcycle. Because they're just, like, so scary. Because, like, you could be cruising along, but then it's, like, it's not up to you. Like, some bad driver who's not paying attention can come and, like, they don't see you and just hit you, you know? But dirt biking? I'm not saying dirt biking is the safest thing. But when you're dirt biking, it's, like, you're not going, like, highway speeds. You're just going around if you you fall, you land, and you got your helmet on, padding if you wear padding, I wear padding. 6% can Krav Maga. Krav Maga is a self-defense and fighting system developed by the Israel Defense Forces. 5.8% can solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh man, I just don't understand it. I mean, I guess if you like sit down for like hours and hours and master it, but it just like, to me, it's not fun. 5.7% <laughs> know Arabic. Uses different symbols than most other languages. 5.2% can piloting a drone. Really? Only 5% of people? I'm sure everybody can fly a drone. Like, go up, go to the side. I mean, obviously, they're not going to be master cinematic photographers right off the bat. But I'm sure you could go up, fly around, you know. I actually want to get a drone. 5% of people can do Photoshop. I can do Photoshop, guys. I've made like 95% of the thumbnails on this channel with Photoshop. 4.3% of people can rock climb. I don't think I've ever tried rock climbing. 4% of people can video edit. I can video edit. I'm not gonna edit this video. My editor is editing this video, but I edit all my like TikToks and stuff. Really, only 4%? Nowadays though, you got like CapCut on your phone. I'm sure more than 4% of the world uses it like CapCut. 4% of the people could do a backflip. I could do a front flip on a trampoline. And I swear a front flip, lots of people say is like, scarier than a backflip, but to me a backflip is way scarier, I don't know. 3% know the guitar. The most talented guitar player of all time is likely Jimi Hendrix. I used to play the guitar. I don't know why I look back as if I had a guitar right there that I was gonna pull out. But if I did, I would play a song. There's one song. That one, 
Like, it's just muscle memory. Like, every time I pick it up, I can play that. 2.5% of people can tear a phone book in two? Oh, now that takes some real strength, guys. 2% of people, human flagpole. My, fun fact, my dad used to be able to do that. 1.5% can play the piano. They wanted me to pull it out. All right, I haven't really been playing this thing recently, but what can I play? Drop a comment if you know what that song is. And I feel like, I don't know, I don't play this thing that often. And that's the thing, in order to like know how to play the songs and everything, you gotta practice them all the time or else they just go to your brain like every other song did. 1.2% of people could drift a car. I could drift a car on the lake. I think everybody can, cause you're on ice. <laughs> 1% of people could write with both hands. I could write with both hands. Not saying you'll be able to read it. 0.6% of people know Latin. 0.2% of people could paint with their mouth. Some people born with disabilities still find a way to paint. Respect. Yeah, that's impressive. And the hardest thing to learn is to tame a tiger. You'll need to feed it by at least 15, uh, feed it at least 15 pounds of meat a day or it might see you as a meal. 15 pounds of meat a day? That's crazy. And that's how you tame a tiger or what? You just bring 15 pounds of meat and throw it at him and he's your best friend? I guess. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.